Hi guys! Today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful double orchid lay. It's perfect for graduations, weddings, birthdays, and so much more. What you're going to need for this is of course fresh orchids. Lots and lots of them. If you're wondering where you can get fresh orchids, uh, I will leave a link down below to our shop where we ship fresh orchids worldwide. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. And you're also going to need a long floral needle. The first thing you want to do is find the little loop at the end of your needle and stick your thread through there like so. Now you want to take each orchid and break the stem off. This helps the lay look neater and is much easier to work with when the stems are off. Here's a quick overview of how we will be stacking the flowers together. Basically we're just using four flowers and changing the direction of each one as we put them through the needle. So you're going to stick the first flower in and then the second flower you will change the direction. Same thing with the third flower, you're going to stick it through the needle and change the direction. And the same thing with the fourth one. This is what your lay should look like so far. You should have four sides. Here's one, two, three, and four. Pull your thread through the flowers and leave some excess thread to tie the knot at the end. Go ahead and continue with your lay, pushing each flower through the needle and changing the direction at the same time like so. This method makes the lay look fuller and it also brings out all the colors as well. Remember to keep pushing the thread through each set of four flowers that you do. Keep pushing it together so it gets tighter and you don't see a lot of space in between the flowers because that's the whole goal of this orchid lay is that you don't want too much space in between the flowers. So here's what your lay should start to look like. There should be four sides to it. Here's one. You turn it around and here's another section of orchids. Here's another and so on. Keep working on your lay. By now you should have the hang of it. It's pretty easy once you've done a couple of them. Don't forget to keep pushing the flowers together and making them tighter. Okay, now we are finally ready to complete the last step, which is tying the knots. You want to take the excess pieces of thread on each side of your lay and tie that together tightly. Make a couple of knots just to make sure the lay is secured and it will not fall apart. Me personally, I would tie the knot around seven to eight times because it is going to be around somebody's neck and this person is most likely going to be moving around a lot. So you want to make sure that this is very secure and it's not going to fall apart. So cut off the leftover thread and there you have it. Your lay is finished and ready to wear. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos coming soon and I will see you next time. Bye!